little uh, trivia fact for you. Um, the house I just did there, j just now on the corner, was used as um, a set for a scene in Monty Python. Uh, this call here is what we call a TBA. They let me know if they want any milk. There's some sort of message. The message here is they leave this little crate out and uh, it says two pints on it today. So telling me they want two pints, which I'll hide up by the house. If there's no crate there at this, this particular house, I just go on my way. No crate means no milk today. I like working this time of night. We're going to have the city to ourselves. The streets will be quiet. I can get everything done quickly, whereas during the day there's lots of traffic and people will stop and talk to you. So I can work quickly. Um, I'm working alone. I like to be my own boss. I am self-employed. Uh, have my working day done. I expect to have all the milk delivered this morning by 8.30 in the morning back to the depot and unloaded and on my way home by 9.30, home by 10. So I've got the rest of the day free. Ten years ago, if somebody said to me, you'll end up being a milkman in Exeter, I'd say to them, you've got to be kidding. There's no way I'll end up living in Exeter or being a milkman, but uh, it's funny how life pans out sometimes. Became a milkman in uh, December, of the year 2000, so we're talking about uh, coming on for eight and a half years now. So, uh, yeah, time's flown, but uh, yeah, it's a job I enjoy, so and when you find something you like, stick at it, why not? When I get home from doing the milk round, I stay up during daylight hours. That's what I prefer to do. Some of the guys go home and uh, go straight to bed, sleep for two or three hours maybe, and then stay up till mid-evening and then have another sleep. I've tried that, but I just didn't get on with it. I prefer to have one sleep in every 24 hour period, so I go to bed early evening, um, stay up all day, that's what suits me. One uh, strange thing <laughs> with my sleep pattern is um, I, I never watch um, evening TV during, during the week, so uh, I go to bed when uh, EastEnders is on, Coronation Street's on, I'm fast asleep, never watch either of them, I'm glad to say because I can't stand soap operas. Today's a fairly quiet day. I think we've got about six or seven hundred pints on the back. Uh, towards the weekend on a busier day, could be as many as a thousand pints. Sometimes foul weather gets you down. We've just had a really harsh winter where we had um, day after day of snow and ice. And uh, of my nine winters, it was the worst winter easily. There were lots of mornings where um, it had maybe rained and then frozen up, there was ice underfoot and it's very difficult slipping around, taking much longer than normal and the, the temperatures were really cold. We had minus nine one morning. As you can see in this vehicle, there's no, there's no heat. Um, it's just open to the elements, you know, so it's minus nine outside, it's minus nine in here as well. So I was getting a bit sick of the weather. Um, six days a week is a bit of a bind as well. Obviously any job's going to be a bit easier if it's five days a week, but um, I think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. Okay, I've got four calls to make here. You can see we're in a street at the moment where lots of people have milk deliveries. I'm doing quite a few houses in these streets. Uh, we'll get other streets later on where maybe I'm not so popular and only doing one or two in a street. These, these glass bottles, on average, get reused 18 times before they get chipped or cracked or something. And uh, then they can be recycled anyway and reused another 18 times and on and on it goes. Um, the fact that we're in an electric vehicle with zero emissions as well, all of a sudden is uh, very fashionable. That house I just delivered to there, as soon as I put the two milk bottles down on the doorstep, the dog inside is going absolutely ballistic and it does every time I deliver there. 
It is uh, 20 past three in the morning. Now you'd think the owners would think, oh, sod that. I don't want to get woken up 20 past three in the morning every day. But uh, they don't seem to mind. The dog doesn't seem to mind. I don't mind, so we're all happy. If I was looking slightly confused then, it's because that house, they've uh, stripped the paint off the front door. And when I looked across, I thought I was at the wrong house for a moment. I knew something wasn't right. Had to do a double take, but uh, it is the right house. Um, obviously in this job you need a mobile phone, come across somebody up to no good, um, prowlers in a place where look like they're in a place they shouldn't be or anything, you can get on the phone to the police. That's another reason people like having the milkman around in the early hours of the morning. The most common one being people breaking into cars, um, which I've come across several times. Where we were in Thornton Hill and West Avenue, where we started three times there, I've come across people breaking into cars. And um, uh, a couple of times they got caught by the police. And uh, several times I've seen prowlers in places where, you know, they're up to no good, you know, young hoodie type people. And um, I've called the police to them and the police have thanked me um, for alerting them and uh, they say that you know something has been prevented from happening that might have otherwise happened so it's good I've got a got a lovely letter from the head of Exeter police at home uh, I was on the quay in Exeter one morning six o'clock in the morning delivering into flats I came out of the flats and uh, I saw a strange character with no shirt on, bare-chested man, getting out of the milk float with my bag. And uh, you know, I yelled at him and chased after this chap and he ran off. I didn't have anything particularly uh, valuable in the, in the bag, just my lunch and spare torch batteries, a few odds and ends like that. But uh, I chased this chap and he ran off. So uh, while I was chasing him, I dialed 999, got on the phone to the police and uh, chased him around the, the River X, around the key area, uh, while giving a running commentary to the police who said they had somebody on the way. Uh, eventually this chap turned around and attacked me, so I had a bit of a brawl with him. But uh, I managed to get their bag back and uh, he couldn't get away from me because I'm fairly fit, I'm quite fast. Uh, he was much younger than me, but uh, he gave up in the end and he waited for the police to arrive. And when the police arrived, it turned out he was um, a wanted chap. He'd been on the run for a while. Uh, he'd skipped bail due, due in court on several things and hadn't turned up. So the police were quite, uh, quite, quite pleased that uh, they'd caught up with him. And uh, he ended up in, in court several months later. My bag got seized as evidence. And uh, he pleaded guilty and he got sent to prison for various offences, including stealing my bag. Yeah, there's lots of customers that I've never met. I've been delivering their milk for eight and a half years and I've never met them. So hello to all of you if you're watching this. Um, however, a lot of uh, customers, I collect their payments from them in person. So I get to know them quite well, first name terms with, with loads of them. Still quite a while till the sun comes over the horizon, but it can, you know, with clear skies, it gets, gets light quite a while before sunrise. So I always thought it'd be good fun in, um, in Venice, going around on my gondola loaded up with milk. That'd be a laugh. Let's give that a go. Ten years ago, I was earning three times as much. Um, however, I was in a job running my filling stations. That I, it was quite stressful, uh, lots of problems on call 24 hours a day. And uh, to be honest, um, I think the job satisfaction is worth more than the than the treble money uh, to me. I'm much happier now than I was 10 years ago. Money's not everything. If you want to get rich, you don't become the milkman to get rich. Uh, if you can do the hours, you enjoy being out and about working by yourself, um, 
and you're happy just to earn enough to live off, then it's a great job and that's why I'm here today.